I want to talk a little bit about one of your companies, the one that you know that you were just alluding to. In this country, there's a major problem, and that problem is called retirement. And I'm not talking about the problems with Social Security or the problems with pensions. I'm talking about retirement plans, your 401ks, and even your your self-directed solo case. Some of the problems that are faced by most Americans when it comes to the retirement is just the lack of knowledge, the lack of application, and literally the lack of control of their money. They literally just blindly put money into something that they don't know, like, or understand, and they just think it's all going to be okay until it's not. This is a huge problem, folks. This is a a probably hundred trillion dollar problem in the grand scheme of things. I don't know the exact number of money, like dollars in in retirement accounts, but I I remember hearing forty trillion, but that was a long time ago. So this is a forty trillion dollar problem, and this is the problem you solve. So let's talk about e. QRP. And just so, so it actually, if you could just explain what QRP means to the audience, because some people might not know what that means. And then let's get into what you've created and why it solves the 40 plus trillion dollar problem. Yeah. And you nailed it. It's, it's literally a $40 trillion space. And that's that, and that what we're talking about is qualified retirement plans. We're talking about the, the, which is a tax shelter, you know, 401ks and IRAs. This is where people by default put money. They're told by Wall Street, they're, they're told by financial advisors or their employer, this is what you do you, and you get your money matched. And then people sort of just check out and it's almost like this, it's like monopoly money, it's sort of like out there. And then someday, I hope it'll be big enough and I can pull out four or 5% of it every year and live on and I won't die, you know, I, I'll, I'll outlive, you know, I won't outlive my money. And so what what I looked at, so this is about 10 years ago, when I was in this process of, of reinventing and, and thinking about what's what's the impact gonna be, I watched my dad get um, get towards the end of his life, and I watched him. Both he and my mom, you know, worked in the military in the school system, and and they did. They played by the rules. So you know, they, they're like, okay, well, I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to put money into my retirement account. And I, a few weeks before my dad died, he he sat down. We were we were talking, and and he he looked at me and he said, you know, there were so many things that I wanted to do, and I'm out of time. And it was this incredible regret. And it, it it broke me. It was it was like a searing tattoo on my soul. And one of the things that I learned, like people are either less, they're you know they they teach us stuff as as examples or warnings. And one of the warnings there that we can really get a lot from was that if you don't if if you don't engage in your money, you're going to feel like you don't have enough, and you're not going to do the things, and you're going to get to the end with regret. And that's just a reality of money is a fuel, and it allows us to do a lot of things. So I, I saw that and I said, okay, so I bet that's the same for a lot of people that they that they don't really have a plan they're not engaging they're just hoping so they're smoking a bunch of hopium this is their strategy and and that's that's where most people land they put money into into these retirement accounts and then just they just hope it'll all be big enough when they're 60 or 65 years old and and so i started digging into the tax code and and really understanding the space and i realized that there was there were options for people to control not just like a self-directed ira but really have control where they were absolutely running their ship. They were captaining it. And, and so we, I just said, I, I said, there's, I got to do something with this. And that's where the EQRP, the enhanced qualified retirement plan system that, that I built was, was established. And it was, it was set up to give people a chance because it put them in control so that they could say, okay, here's my vision for my life. Here's what I want to accomplish. Here's what I want it to look like. And I can determine it. I'm not just handing all my money over to a system, meaning like Wall Street, and then maybe it'll be there after I'm feed to death. We we gave people a chance to participate and actively engage. And that's what this is all about. It's about a system of not only control, because a lot of things give you some control. It was about building a community of people around this, thousands of people in the community and a team. So when people have control, it actually scares the crap out of most people. They're like, I don't know what to do. So we've got this incredible team that's part of that process to coach and guide and and answer not not only questions but ask questions ask questions of people because it's people don't know what they don't know so they don't even know what to ask and if you can have people we have a thing called a map a millionaire action plan that i created and it takes people through a process and really it's just asking a lot of questions because i think people i like i think tony said this or the his his show i am not your guru tony robbins is right he's not your guru you're your guru it's just a question of do you have the right questions being asked of you and so the EQRP system is as much asking questions and, and pulling that stuff out of you as it is giving you access to your money. 
and then giving you hope that there's actually a different option. And it's not just giving your money to Wall Street and hoping that you'll end up having money at the end of your your working life. So I have a lot to say on this. Um, you know, my audience for the most part knows, I mean, I, I was a financial advisor from 2003 to 2018 when I finally punched out of what I sometimes call hell. I mean, it was the closest thing I know to is, you know, maybe the first level of hell. Uh, and that is Wall Street. So I did that for a long period of time and set up a lot of qualified retirement plans, a lot of IRAs, 401ks, you name it, we did it. And I will tell you this, for the thousands of clients that I set up into those accounts, maybe, I mean, maybe 1% of them actually knew what they were putting their money into. That means 99% of the people that I set up retirement plans for had no clue what they were putting their money in. Most of them didn't even know whether they were in conservative, moderate, or high risk. They literally had no clue, no understanding, and they more or less just hoped and prayed. They We would do a profile on them, you know, a suitability profile. We'd figure out, okay, well, here's what it says. And we would just say, you know, what do you want to invest in? Here's your menu of investments. And they would say, I don't know. Can you build a portfolio? Our system would build a portfolio for them and just say, all right, here you go. And they, they had no clue, no clue whatsoever. And then all we could do is just say, well, you know, if in 20 years, if it rule of 72, if it doubles every 10 years, you have this much. Oh, great. I can retire on that. Not factoring in inflation, not factoring in life circumstances, not factoring in great recessions and drawdown effects, just hope and pray. But then after I got out of the financial world and I started doing what I do today, which is teaching people how to take back control of their money, I started talking a lot about self-directed IRAs. And, and I work with custodians that, that do self-directed IRAs. But hence, then all of a sudden I uncovered another problem, very similar to the first problem. Although self-directed IRAs give people the ability to be in control of where their money goes. If they like this real estate deal and they want to lend on this real estate deal, they can because they know, like, and understand real estate or whatever they're investing their money in or lending their money on. They can do that. However, they don't know how to. They don't know how to. And the custodians, most of them, don't really do much. They just hold your money. Okay, that's why it's so cheap to have a self-directed IRA custodian manage. They don't manage money, but hold the assets is they don't really do much. It's kind of just a, a holding tank. And, and that's the problem that I've uncovered. And I haven't figured out how to solve this because you have. You created the system to help people, to guide people into where they can be in control of their money, but where their money goes based on their needs and things that they know, like, and understand. And, and to be quite honest, I have not heard of anybody doing this up to this point. That is why most custodians, you know, have billions of dollars sitting in cash because the clients just don't know what to do with it. They know they wanted control, but once they got the control, they're like, I've never been taught what to do now that I've got this control. And this scares me. So can you elaborate a little bit on just what I mentioned there? Yeah, I think you you nailed something. Like as an example, Equity Trust is probably the biggest IRA custodian yeah. that I'm aware of. They they keep gobbling up other companies and they have, I think the last number I saw was like $43 billion in assets. Tons of that money is sitting in cash. Like you just said, when there are banks that say, please have an IRA here, they know that you're going to just basically have it sitting in cash. They're going to be getting 5% from the Fed and your money's going to be sitting dead. And you're not going to make anything. Like you nailed it. The system is set up to feed on you until you say, okay, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to figure it out until you do that. And they don't encourage you to do that. The, the little, the cute little Instagram things that they say, learn about your money. It's not really, they're not really wanting you to take control of your money. In fact, if you ever, if you try wiring money out of most banks, they give you a really hard time. They're pushing back and some of it's anti-fraud, but they're just, they don't want your money to go away because that's how they make money. The system is set up to, to feed on you. It's like the damn matrix. Like we are the energy and, and it's just pulling on it. So the, the difference when, when you, when you get control, that's literally just the first step. It's very easy to set up a company and, and sell individual 401ks or IRAs. And a lot of, a lot of places do that, but the big shift that we're talking about is when you go into a space where you're you're you literally have the people around you to help guide you through like what's the next thing i mean it's it's funny because people are like yay i got control but then then they go now what and they're freaking scared i used to say this is funny chris because your background i didn't know that, that you were a financial advisor i used to say financial advisors are all terrible and and they just rip you off and they just want to go golfing and most and of them are exactly that 
Okay, well, so so to, probably a fair characterization of a lot of those folks. What I also realized is that there is a value in having people. And so for most individuals that have an advisor, that's probably a good thing because they're not willing to take the time and, and make the effort to go do the thing, like to do the work. And, and so most people do need some help because if led to their, you know, left to their own devices, they would probably just end up with a pile of cash that wasn't, wasn't making anything getting cr crucified by inflation. And, and so I've, I've modified my thinking a little bit. And that is, Hey, having control of your money doesn't mean that you just take it and it's the wild west and you throw it around and you shoot things. It's, it's literally, there's an engagement and you really do. The team is so important. Like the work that you do there in, involves teams. Like there's involves other people. And this is a collective effort. It's not this rugged individualism is kind of dangerous. If you're like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm super smart. Like, unfortunately, I love our doctor members of our community, but they tend to be very dangerous because they're so smart. Oftentimes they're like, well, I don't, I can just do this. And I'm like, doctors, yeah, professors, and engineers, the three totally. most dangerous people to <laughs> themselves. Right. And that, and it's you, part of this journey that I've been on was, was getting myself smashed and and humbled. And I think everybody needs to understand that really there's so much out there. It's useful to have a team, have the right people, know who's advising you and who's selling you. Because it's like a lot of times people say, well, I've got an advisor. And I'm like, no, that's, they're selling you. They're trying to sell you their product. They're not a neutral advisor. One of the rules I have, if if somebody pays me to to coach or mentor them, and they don't get to participate in anything I'm doing because it has to be totally neutral. And that's a rule. I, and this, this wasn't always my rule. It was, Oh, you know what? Somebody is a student. Well, this is why like you can't go to your psychiatrist or your doctor and, and then end up having a relationship with them because there's a conflict, there's a power struggle. And that's the same thing with advisors. So that we need to have team members. We need to have people that are, that are advising us and coaching us. And so like in the EQRP system there, you get, you get mentored and coached the people that are helping you, guiding you, they're helping you figure out what to do. They're not saying, Hey, I'm just going to tell you, this is the thing that you should do and sell you. And that's a very big difference because then, then you're, you're not having to second guess. Like, are you just trying to get my money out of me? Like, we're just trying to help you figure out what's right for you. Cause we don't know you're different than every other person. So it's, it's very unique. And I just can't emphasize enough that it's it's about having the people. And if your system is just a, it's a, a thing where you get a, a binder or an app, and there's a lot of companies doing that for your retirement money, you really aren't being set up for success. You need to have, and I say need, I don't say need very often. I don't say should, because I think should is like shooting all over yourself, but you need to have a great team. A world-class team will help you get where you're trying to go by yourself, you're, you're almost, it's like 99% likely you're going to get smashed because you just don't know what you don't know. That's a huge deal.